<laughs> I'm in danger. Please ignore the very not good video quality on um, my phone. Yeah, she decided um, we're not gonna film today. We're not gonna cooperate today. So I'm having to film this on my dinosaur of a laptop. Also ignore the laundry pile on my couch. It's been a week, guys. <laughs> All right, makeup look based on this Disney character. understand why I said I'm in danger. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna make this work. I guess I'll just go ahead and prime my lids and uh, see where this goes. I'm so scared! <laughs> also, side note, just kind of a makeup tip, I guess, I don't know. Like, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I never took a cosmetic class or anything like that. I'm just someone who likes makeup. But if you are in the melanin lacking community, like moi, then you probably have an issue with dark under eye bags, which, look, don't be embarrassed about it. Um, if you are lacking in the melanin, like myself, then you really don't have any natural glow uh, to cover up those bags, so they're gonna pop up. But something I like to do is I use um, this eyelid primer from Believe, which is another channel brand. <laughs> hey, if it's cheap and it works, two birds and one stone. But it's kind of white, so if you are pale like me and you have you know, under eye bags, I put this under my eyes so that when I put the concealer and the powder on top of my eye bags, it'll stick longer, just like eyeshadow up here will stick longer if you put a primer on it. So I don't know, just a makeup tip from your friendly ADHD gremlin and Disney geek. I said, take, take it for what it's worth, I don't know. Okay, so looking at pictures of Ed, he has um, yellow eyes. I'm gonna start with some yellow eyeshadow. Where we go from there, look who knows, but <laughs> we'll start with yellow eyeshadow and see what happens. This is a good opportunity to try out the new eyeshadow brush. I got my single splash box this week. I mean, month, so let's see how it works. Oh! That actually picks it up nicely. Okay, there's at least one win with this look today. I like these new brushes, they work well. I don't know if that's gonna save this look, but <laughs> it's a win. It's a win. Okay, so looking at this palette, I don't know how it, but I kind of have this avocado green right here that looks a lot like the green from the Be Prepared sequence, so I'm probably going to put that in my corner. And then I have this darker yellow goldish color I'm probably going to put out here. And then in this palette, there's this lime green that I'm going to kind of put on top here. So it's going to be a green and yellow eyeshadow look. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it, mm. My parents called while I was putting on the rest of the eyeshadow, so I wasn't able to film it because my parents are private people. They don't want to be on camera, and I have to respect that. So now I'm just going to put on the foundation. I've got my eyeshadow on. Uh, eyeshadow's actually not looking that bad, so I'm feeling a little bit better about this look. Uh, <laughs> We'll see how the rest of it goes. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna pull it all together, but uh, we see, we see. Okay, so am I the only one that when I have something sweet, I have to have something salty right after it? Because I finished my, cin well, didn't finish, I didn't eat the whole box. But I ate some Cinnabon, and now I'm craving something sweet, so I'm getting the cheat sticks that I ordered with my pizza last night, and I'm eating that. I am such a foodie. I think I have a problem. Mm. Now on to the concealer. Because I need help. <laughs> I need help. Uh, 
covering up all the little blemishes because I have no melanin to cover them up for me. That is the light of a pasty girl. When you're the color of paper, very similar to white clothes or white tablecloths, every little stain, every little dark spot, acne, whatever, it shows up. This is why white girls rely on concealer. Because we have nothing to hide. All our discoloration. <laughs> Naturally. At least we actually have options of makeup to come in our shape. Okay, so I need some gray somewhere on my face. Because Ed and the other hyenas are gray in the movie. Um, so I have this liquid eyeshadow that's silver. I'm gonna try to use it as an eyeliner. That might be crazy. And it might look redonkulous, but redonkulous is my middle name, so we go try it. All right, so let's just see how this works. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> okay, this is kind of a little patchy, so uh, I need to come up with plan two. Plan two, plan B. Okay, so I grab this little brush right here and I'm gonna see if maybe using the brush will work a bit better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Yes, okay, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're good now, we're good. Yeah. Okay, so that's half of one I done. Now I just gotta do the other one and a half. All right, so using this brush to put this liquid eyeshadow on like eyeliner works a lot better. However, getting enough of the product onto the wand that I can actually put it on the brush is difficult. And no, I can't just dip this brush into the component because this section right here is too wide and it doesn't fit. So, uh, I might be here beating and mixing this eyeshadow for a while. Why me? Why do the things I try to do always turn out to be 10 times more complicated than they should be? Okay, so I went and did and did my uh, contour and bronzer off camera because it's just um, going forward, I need more black and gray in this look because that's what color it is. I don't have any gray blush or highlight though. The closest thing I have is this kind of grayish purple. Yeah, there we go. Right here. So I'm going to use that for my highlight. And I'm going to test out my new fan brush. I got my single swag box. Let's see how it looks. Mm. Okay, I'm not as impressed with this as I was the eyeshadow brush. I mean, she works, but not as well as I would like. This brush instead because I'm gonna use the Yeah, yeah, that's that's giving me the result I want. Yeah, so it won't like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so highlights on. I need to do my eyebrows. And I need them to be black because that's one of the colors Ed is, but I don't have black eyebrow products, so I'm gonna try and use black mascara this is probably going to end so badly. I picked the mascara with a little wand, so let's see. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, okay, so far, so far so good. It's not, it's not terrible. That's a big difference. <laughs> oh! <gasps> okay, 
Let's try the other one. Let's see if we can even this out. Oh, lordy. Someone help me. Uh. This will all even out. Oh, you're like, oh, it's the lipstick. It's the lipstick that's gonna bring it together. Guys, I think that's all of a sudden. Okay, but why did that work? Why did that work? Okay, but how? How did this look actually come together? How? How? I actually made this work, guys.